What is up YouTube? Today we are talking about how to become a South Dakota resident. Before we start, if you aren't sure why you would change your residency, be sure to check out my last video. Um, I talk about all the different states to become residents of, the best states to be a resident of, and why I chose South Dakota. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a permanent street address. That means that you cannot use a P.O. box to establish residency in a state. There are two main ways to get a physical street address. The first way is to use a friend or family member's address that already lives in the state. If you know somebody who already lives in the state, you're lucky and it will probably work out really well for you. If that's an option for you, awesome. Um, but if you if that's not an option for you if you don't know anybody in the state Then you will still have to find a permanent street address to do this You will need to pay for a mail forwarding service It's important to find a good mail forwarding service with people that you can work with that you can talk with and that you just Have a good relationship with because you're not only gonna have to deal with them when you're trying to get your mail forwarded to a certain location they can also provide a lot of great services like registering your vehicle when you're not in the state. I did it through my mail forwarding service and it was awesome. They were super helpful and it just made the process of moving there so much easier because I didn't have to be there for a super long period of time. And when I say moving, what I mean is becoming a resident. Obviously, I don't actually live there. As an example, I use Dakota Post and they've helped me numerous times, as I said, registering vehicles and things like that, but they also answered a lot of questions for me about residency and just made the process a lot easier because I had a resource that I could talk to in the state. Okay, so the second step in the residency process is actually becoming a resident. That means going to the state and getting your driver's license and a truly establishing residency. Now. In order to get your license, you're going to need the following items. One item proving date of birth. One item proving social security number. A receipt from your personal mailbox. That's your mail forwarding service receipt. A receipt proving at least one night stay within the last year. And a fully filled out residency affidavit. I'll put a link to the affidavit PDF in the description below. Okay, just to make it easier on you guys, I'll list out the documents that I pr provided to the DMV to get my license because you don't want to go to the state and not have the correct paperwork and then have to go back. That's like the worst thing that could happen and to make another trip to the state, that, that'd just be terrible. So make sure you bring all the necessary paperwork. Alright, I brought my current license, my passport, my social security card, last night's hotel receipt, my PMB, my personal mailbox receipt, that's the receipt from my mail forwarding service, and the fully filled out residency affidavit. An important thing to note about the residency affidavit is that on the piece of paper it will ask you questions with just a checkbox yes or no next to them and there's a few questions just talking about if you're going to come back to the state after you're done traveling and things like that and if you do not say yes to all of the questions the DMV employee will not give you your license they will tear up the affidavit and they'll put, send you on your way you cannot get residency or claim residency get your license in South Dakota as a permanent traveler if you do not answer yes to all of the questions on the residency affidavit. I'm not telling you to lie, I'm just telling you what's going to happen if you put no on the form. Alright, so after you provide all these documents and get your picture taken by the kind person at the DMV, then you will be on your way and you are officially a resident of South Dakota and you can officially claim all the benefits of being a resident of South Dakota. So. Welcome to the beautiful state of South Dakota. You now enjoy cheap insurance, no income tax, no personal property tax on vehicles, cheap registration and license fees, no vehicle inspections, and just so much more. So it's awesome. You're really doing the right thing if you're becoming a resident of this state. You're just 
just save money on taxes where you can and everybody needs to pay their fair share i get that but why pay more than somebody else in a different state why pay 30 percent of your income more or some absurd number like that make sure if you're traveling full time you have the ability to do to become a resident of any state you desire and you're not going to be in one state so you shouldn't feel guilty about becoming a resident of a different state than is your traditional home state you no longer have a home state you are a traveler find the best state that works the best for you all right guys so if you learned something from this video if you got anything from it if you enjoyed it go ahead and give it a thumbs up I greatly appreciate it make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, I put out at least two videos a week I've been kind of like traveling a lot lately but I'm trying to keep with it so I'll see you next time.